combining the ideas of the sensors and things like that with Romney, you know, it could turn into a, a, a little, you know, commercial enterprise that can compete with the uh, more expensive companies. Uh, as I said earlier, um, I represent the secondary principals in South Australia in the public education sector. Um, I'm encouraging um, public education schools to uh, adopt Rumley uh, as one of their methodologies within uh, STEM classrooms. The approach that you use today is a great labour saving uh, method that enables you to put most of your time into the actual problem solving uh, and solution creation. I did two STEM courses at a high school called Roman Mitchell Secondary College and um, we were told to make a robot that could move forwards and backwards. We were using a program called Arduino which um, is a very old fashioned and complex um, program to do. At the end of the whole workshop, or the whole time we were there, we weren't able to finish our moving robot. We were very disappointed and sad, but um, now that I'm at stem cell and I do, and I figured out something called Romy, um, I realized that I can create the same robot um, in less than half the time with more features. Now that I'm at stem cell and I do, and I figured out something called Romy, um, I realized that I can create the same robot um, in less than half the time with more But all these capabilities are also essential for your, your success. Uh, using the latest artificial intelligence technology saves us enormous amounts of time and also allows us to focus on being creative and seeking out problems that are worth solving. So it's been impressive to see schools uh, from all uh, different sectors competing in the Run Link Schools Challenge and to continue to look for problems that are worth solving. So good luck and thanks for allowing me the opportunity to come and save you today.